yeah, they're pretty happy, really. You know, you, you just hope that they put the jumper on for the first time, feel comfortable, um, come in, do what they have to do, and um, we're never really looking for them to over-index on performance. We just want them to come in and, and feel a part of the team, and, um, you know, I've, I felt like they look pretty comfortable. Only in particular, Paul Goals, he was pretty impressive on board. In his full line, doesn't have Tom Hawkins at the moment. Yeah, he's a dangerous player. Um, you know, we're, we recruited him for a reason. Uh, he's a really good player, and um, I think he, you know, just fits in really well with that system, whether he played deeper or played high, he had an impact on the game, so it was good for him. You take the attitude that you bring in these guys because you see them as starting 22 players, or do they really have to earn their spots as well, or is it each on their own case? Uh, it's just everyone's on their own merits, really. We, we always want to pick a team that's well-balanced, and um, where that falls as the season goes, you know, last year sort of proved that can change throughout the year. So um, we judge each player and each game on its merits and, and we do our best to pick the right balance and um, there's times where we get that wrong as well. So we, we're always adjusting and seeing where guys fit best. What's up, Radagalia looked good down back as well. Um, yeah, how's his summer been and do you expect to see him round one? Super summer, yeah, he, he's been fantastic. Um, you know, really happy with his attitude to work and his ability to work within the system and uh, he's just a great person and, and really caring and um, his teammates love having him down there which is great. There's a real spread of midfielders going through the set of bounces. Do you foresee that sort of mix going forward and, and what was the gelling like of the players that did go through? I felt like it was pretty good at first glance. Uh, in terms of the mix going forward I think you know, the more midfielders you can have in the team is usually a good thing, but it's important for midfielders not just to be specialists. They need to be, be able to play a, a, a few different roles. So um, that's what like, the next two weeks are for today and next week against Brisbane. We just keep looking at that and it sort of goes back to the best mix. What we feel like is the best mix on any day we'll go with. Yeah, well, uh, as terms of the season, as far as the season goes, we're not really sure. But um, as far as today goes, we just want to see him out there and enjoying his footy and, and um, just being out there with the other boys, really, is all we can ask at this stage. Gary Rowan and Mitch Stolten, did they just manage today? Or? Just on individual programs. Um, the stars didn't align for him today, so we just sort of manage our players as, as we see fit. And the medical staff and fitness staff are all over that. So. Um, the individual stuff is, is really important this time of year. So could we see them next week or are they, are they far away? Or? I couldn't tell you, yeah. It's, it's hard to say depending on how it pans out the next few days. And Jack Henry, you played him forward for a little bit. Could he play full forward if Tom Hawkins doesn't get out for round one? Yeah, well he's had success there before and I think we want to be a team that um, functions well. As